today I'm going to be making sandwiches. Now I know what I would be thinking. Sandwiches, boring. Vegetarian, there's either cheese or egg. Or egg and cheese. And that's pretty much it. That is as far as my extent as sandwiches go. So I've been having a look and I have found two fillings that look really interesting and hopefully really tasty. So the first one I'm going to do is a chickpea salad. So let's have a look and see what we do. Okay, so I've got one tin of chickpeas which have been drained and I'm going to take a masher and I'm going to just going to mash these. It doesn't have to be completely smooth. Okay, and to that, we're going to add another tin of chickpeas. Then we're going to add half a red onion, which has been finely diced. And one green pepper, which has been finely diced. Half a teaspoon of garlic granules. teaspoon of dried parsley a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper And then we're going to add three tablespoons of mayonnaise. If you want to make this vegan, add a vegan mayonnaise or a vegan yogurt or something like that. You could even use normal yogurt if you didn't want to use mayonnaise. And then we're just going to mix this all in together. And that's it. Now this is best served chilled, so I'm going to put this in the fridge uh, for about half an hour before we give it a try. Okay, on to the second sandwich filler. Uh, this one is actually more of a paste, so it's a bit like a pate. And I've always thought pate, the meat ones, sound disgusting. But here we go with a vegetarian and vegan one. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to cook some onions. Now you don't have to do this if yours aren't very strong and overpowering, but mine are. The recipe says to use two tablespoons of oil, but I don't think we need that, so with my pan non-stick, I'm just going to spray some local spray on it, and that will fry them just fine. So I'm going to add one medium onion, which has been roughly chopped, and one clove of garlic again, which has been roughly chopped. And we're going to fry these off until they've softened. Okay, so that just took uh, like five minutes. And they're pretty much done. So, we're going to add them to a bowl.
and then we're going to add one tin of cannelloni beans which have been drained and rinsed and then the juice of half a lemon now I cheat with the lemon juice and it's three tablespoons equals one lemon so I'm going to put one and a half tablespoons so that's half a lemon And then we're going to add 30 grams of sun-dried tomatoes, which have been in oil. Hence why I wasn't using the oil in the frying pan. Two tablespoons of chives. And two tablespoons of parsley. I've got the frozen one. Let's get that out there. And then we're going to take a hand blender and we're going to blitz this into a paste. You can use a food processor as well, but I'm just being lazy. I can't be bothered to wash up. So let's blend this together. Okay, so I'm going to give this a try on a slice of wholemeal toast. Let's spread it on. There we have it. Right, okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a very unusual taste. It's nice. Mmm. Yeah, I think that'd be great when we're finally allowed to have a couple of people in our garden. Having that, maybe some chopped up vegetables, crackers. I think that would be a real addition to any buffet. Mmm, very different. Right, let's see if the chickpeas are chilled. Okay, on to the chickpeas then. I'm going to put some salad leaves on the bottom.
and then let's put some of this chickpea mix in. There we go. Okay, let's give this a go then. Ooh, it's all falling out. Hmm. That's a nice one as well. I think they're both very nice. I think they're very different, so it depends what you want. That's great in a sandwich. I, that would be great on the side of a, a salad as well. And the other one, I think, great for sharing and um, with things to dip in it or stuff like that. So yeah, two great sandwiches. So keep experimenting, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.